Meghan Markle joined the royal family when she married Prince Harry at a royal wedding on May 19, 2018, at St George's Chapel at Windsor. Queen Elizabeth II gave her grandson the title the Duke of Sussex just before his marriage to Meghan. Being married to Prince Harry automatically made Meghan the Duchess of Sussex. There are rumours and speculation that Meghan bullied members of staff and this has blown into full controversy, with everyone stunned and talking about it. It is so serious that Tom Boyer talked about it in his book titled Revenge, Meghan, Harry and the War Between the Windsors. Valentin Lowe also broke the story about Meghan's bullying in a book titled Courtiers, while Buckingham Palace launched an investigation into Meghan's bullying of members of staff. The question now is, how true are these allegations about Meghan? Is she a bully? Keep watching to find out how Meghan Markle was exposed for bullying staff. Valentine Lowe broke the story about bullying allegations made against the Duchess. A few days before Harry and Meghan's interview with Oprah Winfrey, a very well-respected journalist, Valentine Lowe, broke the story of the bullying allegations against the Duchess of Sussex, Meghan Markle. In his book titled Courtiers, Valentine Lowe alleges that the relationship between members of staff with the Duke and Duchess of Sussex is strained. According to him, former members of staff of the royal family have stated that working with Harry and Meghan was not a walk in the park, as both of them were outrageous bullies and greedy who caused people pain and broke them. It is also said that Meghan and Harry felt that they were not supported by their royal staff. Hence, Harry labelled any staff who didn't agree with him as having palace syndrome. Then, whenever any member of staff complains about how they are being treated, Meghan is quick to tell them that it's not her duty to coddle people. How rude can one be? The book also talks about how Meghan disregarded the plan drawn up by a member of staff, and asked her to come up with a new plan. Even after an explanation from the staff that coming up with a new plan would be challenging, Meghan refused to listen and insisted on a new plan and went ahead to say that she could have gotten it done by another. This made the staff cry in front of Prince William, who assured her that her job was fantastic. A member of staff who was out for dinner during her time off work was continually harassed by Meghan, who called her on the phone every five minutes without stopping. Melissa Tubati, Meghan's PA, turned in her resignation six months after Meghan and Harry got married. Melissa resigned because Meghan didn't like the way she implemented the no freebies rule in the palace. Jason Canov, the press officer of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, sent his complaints about Meghan's bullying to members of staff via writing to the palace chiefs, and quit after that. However, he was reinstated by William and Catherine. Samantha Cohen, who's Meghan's private secretary, also complained about being bullied and other members of staff of the Australian tour were also mistreated. In 2019, Meghan and Harry's new staff team set was certain that they would quit the role of royal staff members. Palace staff members sticking to their claims. In an interview with Page Six, Valentine Bauer reportedly said the palace staff who quit because of Meghan's bullying are sticking to their claims and not backing down on them. A member of the royal staff has said that Meghan is always demanding a certain kind of respect from the palace staff, which they thought was earned. An insider also stated that when the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were still in the palace, their royal staff came up with excuses on how they needed to stop working. They said goodbye to Meghan and Harry, but go over to work with William and Kate. How weird. If you want to be part of our family, quickly subscribe to our channel and turn on your notification bell so we can keep spilling the royal tea. Tom Bauer focuses on various accounts of Meghan Markle in his book. The British author who wrote the book titled Revenge, Meghan, Harry and the War Between the Windsors stated that Meghan specifically told members of staff not to talk to him or grant him an interview. However, he was able to find his way. According to him, 
The book Revenge is an intriguing story about a woman who rose from nothing to being a world figure, but has stepped on others along the way. According to Tom, he was able to get her victims to talk to him about their experiences with Megan. Who then are these people that Megan has trampled on, if not members of staff? Public implications and reactions. The allegations against Megan have sparked a lot of debate on various social media platforms and amongst the public. Royal fans have expressed their displeasure over the news of Meghan's alleged bullying of members of the royal staff. Some have said that Meghan only married Harry for fame and will do everything to ensure she milks him off, while others have said that Meghan is not to be blamed totally as she doesn't feel secure in the palace and thinks she's been treated low. And this was part of the reason why Meghan and Harry left the palace. However, a large number of people and spectators believe that Meghan is a bully. William talks to Harry about the accusation of Meghan bullying staff. Prince Harry himself, in his book titled Spare, recounts how his older brother and current heir to the throne, Prince William, confronted him in his London home, calling his wife Meghan rude, difficult and abrasive. He stated that his brother was trying to defame his wife's character as well. The confrontation between both brothers led to a physical fight, which made Prince William grab him by the collar, rip off his necklace and knock him to the floor. For Prince William to have confronted his brother Prince Harry and called his wife Meghan rude meant that the Prince of Wales believed all the allegations against Meghan, as he might have probably experienced or witness some of these bullies Meghan himself. According to Prince Harry, the relationship between himself and his brother Prince William is deteriorating by the day. How sad that Princess Diana's two sons are no longer cordial because of Meghan. Response from Harry and Meghan The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have released a 25-page document to refute claims of allegations of bullying against Meghan. The couple has forcefully rejected the accusations that Meghan had made two assistants flee from their jobs because of her behaviour, with other accusations of her screaming at members of staff and calling them on their day off. Prince Harry has also called these allegations a lie in his memoir Spare, while saying that he and Meghan have released a 25-page report to refute the claims. Meghan Markle's team refuted the allegations against her. Meghan's team has refuted allegations against the Duchess of Sussex and insists that one worker left due to findings of misconduct. A statement by the Sussex's spokesperson states that the allegation was merely a calculated smear campaign to mislead the public and defame Meghan. Buckingham Palace's investigation The allegations against Meghan were so serious and caused a lot of public stir and outcry Buckingham Palace did not take it lightly as well, as an investigation was launched in March 2021 to ascertain if the claims against Meghan were true or false. When the investigation was launched by the palace, Meghan's representatives rejected the allegations, stating that Meghan is the one who is the target of the bully and that she is deeply committed to helping those who have gone through one pain or another and are experiencing trauma. The palace, on the other hand, made use of an outside legal team for the investigation, where both current and former members of staff were invited to talk about their experiences regarding the allegations of bullying against Meghan. According to a palace source, those taking part in the investigation are expected to have confidentiality. The palace has not released reports on the investigation. According to an insider's report, It is true that Meghan is indeed a bully, as investigation shows Harry and Meghan have not treated the members of staff well. The palace has decided to keep the report private, as they do not intend to pick another fight with Harry and Meghan, who have stepped down from their royal duties. According to a royal source, the investigation has resulted in a change in the policies and procedures of royal staff, and this would be made known to all royal workers and members of the royal family as well. This is a good development, as it will result in improving working conditions for the staff of the royal family. 
why Queen Elizabeth didn't release Meghan Markle's bullying report. One of the reasons why Buckingham Palace decided to keep the reports of the investigation private was because the late Queen Elizabeth II wanted to ensure that the palace was peaceful before her demise. She didn't want any of their dirty linens displayed in public, as Harry and Meghan had brought the family too much noise already. According to ET royal expert Kate Nicholl, Queen Elizabeth II at the time was doing everything within her power to keep the issue within the royal family, as it was a dramatic year for every member of the royal family. Kate Nicholl further stated that the Queen was trying to hinder any more damage to the monarchy and also to members of staff who made these allegations against the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, who refuted all the allegations. However, now that the Queen has passed away, people are not sure if the current monarch, King Charles, will respect his late mother's decision to keep the investigation report private, or whether the results of the investigation will ever be made known to members of the public. What are your thoughts? Do you believe this bully report against the Duchess of Sussex? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section below. Click here to watch more videos and thanks for watching. See you in the next video.